Hey my friend, how are you? I am back with another video which is on a fabulous problem which I am sure is nothing less than fun to solve. The problem is coin game winner where each player has three choices. It is very 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 interesting problem to solve and I am going to tell this problem, I am going to explain this problem step by step. So all you have to do is watch this video till the end. Also, if the title looks intriguing to you, then do not hesitate in hitting the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, then hit the subscribe button as well as hit the bell icon because that way you will get notified whenever I release videos like this in future. Now, let's see what the problem statement has to say. So the first statement of the problem says that there is a game which you and your friend are playing. So there is a game in which there are only two players. One of the players is you and another player is your friend. You can consider me as another player as a friend. All right. Now there are five coins on a table. So there is a table on which there are five coins. The person who picks the last coin wins the game. So the bottom line of the game is that any person either you or your friend, whoever picks the last coin from the table wins the game. Now, a player can pick either one, three or four coins at once. So there are three choices for you when your chance comes that you can either pick one coin or three coins or four coins. All, all right. Out of these five coins. So, if you are offered the chance to pick the coin first, that means you will be having the first chance in the game. You need to find out if you can win this game or not. That's the ask of this problem. So you can see these are the five coins on the table. Let's say you, since you are starting the game, so you pick three coins in your chance. Then only two coins will remain. Now your friend can either pick one or three or four coins. Now he is compelled to pick only one coin because there are no three or four coins available on the table. So he picks one coin and then remains only one coin which you pick and you win the game. All right. So we have to design our algorithm such that you win the game. Another way of playing this game would have been so you pick the first coin and then your friend will be having three options either to pick one three or four coins he picks the four coins and he wins the game so we need to design our algorithms such that it decides that can you win or not in an optimal manner okay so now we are going to switch to our framework where we are going to construct a dynamic programming algorithm for this problem let's go to our framework now Great. So let's begin solving this problem. This is an array which we are going to fill and this last cell is going to give us uh, our answer whether you can win the game or not. Remember, the ask is to find whether you can win the game or not. So the two players are you and your friend. Uh, you and your friend will be represented as uh, these strings only in uh, this array. There are three choices. So you can pick either one coin, three coins or four coins. So I have put them down here for better uh, representation. Then I have created this array based on the number of coins available, based on the number of coins on the table, which is five. Plus there is uh, one extra cell for zero eight coins. So make sure when you are creating a program on this problem, you create an array of size n plus one. So let's start filling this matrix. Now, what will be the value at zero itself? So zero itself, it means that you haven't got a chance. You are not taking any chance. So when you are not getting any chance, then no way you are going to win. All right. If you are not going to give a shot to this game, you won't win. So who will win here? It will be your friend. Now we come here. This is our first sub problem. We are applying dynamic programming technique here. 
so i also view it as uh, there is only one coin on the table so when there is one coin on the table and uh, you are given the chance to pick it up and you are allowed to pick one coin so who is going to win it okay it will be you obviously naturally it will be you but how the algorithm is going to see it the algorithm is going to subtract this one from this one it is going to give it zero so zero represents this cell zero is the index of this cell here it finds that the last chance was taken by your friend so that means now you win the game all right let's move here sub problem which is represented by two so here when there are two coins on the table you can either pick one coin or three coins or four coins what am i saying you cannot pick three or four coins because there are only two coins on the table so only qualified candidate only eligible candidate is this guy one so what i'm going to do i subtract a one from this two that is going to take me here the cell with index one here i see that you took the last chance all right so this time who is going to win it will be your friend this also means that when there are two coins on the table no way you can win this suggests that okay no way you can win all right we move here so sub problem when the number of coins is 3 over here we have two candidates okay less than or equal to 3 so let's start with this one so one subtracted from 3 is going to take me here 2 this means that the last chance was taken by your friend so who is going to win you all right so once you have won there is no need to go to the other candidate but just for the demonstration purposes let's see what this is going to yield so 3 minus 3 is going to take you here also denotes that the last chance was taken by your friend so this time also you are going to win okay so had you taken had you picked the three coins you would have won all right okay so now the execution moves here to n equals to 4 over here we have three eligible candidates all less than equal to 4 if we subtract one from here 4 so that is going to take us here this tells us that the last chance was taken by you so you don't win it will be your friend okay now this means that we are going to look into other candidates because we have to make you win we are striving to make you win only all right here is the next candidate so 3 minus 4 is going to take you to 1 so here also it uh, says that uh, the last chance was taken by you so again it will be your friend winning okay which is not we want because we are finding whether you can win or win the game or not over here we have the third candidate so 4 minus 4 is going to take you here at the zero itself here it says your friend that means this chance was taken by your friend okay it also says it also hints that you have a chance of winning here so it will be you again okay so when there are four coins on the table you can win the game now just to think it logically that when there are four coins on the table and you are given the first chance naturally you are going to pick all the four coins at once that's what this algorithm determines all right we come here and uh, this is our final problem final sub problem as well so we have three eligible candidates let's subtract one from five so it is going to take me here here it says that the last chance was taken by you so your friend is going to win okay that means we have to look for the other candidates so here we have three all right when we subtract three from five it is going to take us here on two this says that the last chance was taken by your friend and thus you are going to win that's it over so when there are five coins on the table and uh, you have three choices whether you can pick one three or four coins and you are given the first shot in the game then you have chance of winning you can win this game
so we have found it out now let me tell you how i came up with this algorithm okay so when i first encountered this problem and when i started thinking over it i immediately got this approach from another dynamic problem which is minimum coins to reach a particular sum i have created a video on it you can find the link to it on the top as well as i am giving a link to it in the description box so i just want to say that if you are going to practice enough dynamic programming problems then problems like such will start triggering on automatically when you sit to solve them now we are going to see its algorithm so here is the algorithm in fact uh, it is a piece of code which uh, which if you put in a program it will be ready to run this is the section of the code where uh, based on the three choices i am determining whether it will be you or your friend winning at that particular point or the sub problem so like i said this is uh, quite ready to run you can put this snippet inside the function you can put this uh, snippet inside a function and your program will be ready to run so with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you learned from this video again i'm going to tell you that i look forward to help you with programming and algorithms and only for this video goodbye